Hello everyone and welcome back to Jack Little Educational Channel. I hope you all are doing well and your preparations are all right. So this video is all about whether we can crack UGC net JRF in the last 30 days and we will know what are the things which we should do and what are the things which we should not do because this is video for all the freshers as well as the dropout student. So we'll also discuss about both the papers, paper 1 and paper 2 and these all things I'll be telling from my experience of cracking the net JRF. So let's get started. So first I wanted to tell you that whether we can clear net JRF in one month preparation or not. And the answer is no, not at all. Yes, we cannot qualify net JRF with one month preparation only, but we can qualify the net JRF exam with the one month of revision. Yes, we have done all the works and only we will do the revision in this one month and that too in a proper way to get the net JRF and fulfill our dreams. And we should also know that we can qualify the net LS examination if we do one month preparation in a full basis. Yes, how we can do? We can do this in a full manner if we are going through all the 350 videos and the techniques which I am going to tell you in this video along with the quizzes which we have done on our telegram group that is also more than 300 quizzes but we will know how to do it in a proper way because the videos will be not sufficient enough they will be only the helpful material but the techniques which I am going to tell you will help you every time. So starting with the paper 1, yes paper 1 is equally important as paper 2 and in this one month of time what we can do is we will focus on the important topics, important units from the paper 1 and what we will do, we are not going to go through the theory part if you haven't gone because there is no time to all the preparations for the theory but we will simply solve the MCQs, yes MCQs that too from the selected unit that are teaching aptitude, research aptitude communication, higher education system, information and communication technology. So these five are the very very important topics and you can simply solve as many MCQs as you can. So for example I used to tell that KVS Madan is the best book for paper 1 and just simply go and solve all these MCQs related to these units. Coming to the other units, those who cannot be done is the comprehension. Yes, reading comprehension comes from your practice and you cannot do well by practicing only the reading comprehension for one month. But there are certain things which you can practice, they are data interpretation, logical reasoning, for example square opposition, very important, mathematical reasoning and aptitude that is ratio percentage, these things you should practice daily at least 10 from each of this section. So these are the practice thing which you can practice and these things are the things which you can just remember the MCQs. Now let's move to the next tip. So this is all about practicing one previous year's question a day. Yes, this is very very important thing and before the examination every day you should at least solve one previous year's question from the paper 2 of your subject. And this will be very helpful because you should be dealing with all the previous questions as the time goes on and will be more and more confident. So this is all about the GK today. So as I have previously also said about this website and I have experienced that many questions are also coming from here. So this will be very important and here already answers are always given. So no need to search for the answer, just go into this website and solve all the questions which are present from the biodiversity and ecology environment section. I will provide the link in the description and you can go through all these MCQs. These are the 50 plus most important and frequently asked topics in the paper 2 of the UGC net exam and I have listed everything here. So there are many many concepts here and these concept you should take it as checklist. You should check whether you have completed this or not and if you haven't checked and if you haven't done these things then also no problem. This is just to cross verify that whether you haven't left anything before the exam. So I'll read out these things, the checklist, CFC conversion, BIS water limit, national ambient air quality standards, acid rain concept, biogeochemical cycles, Darcy's laws, Beer Lambert law, atmospheric layers and their composition, ozone, Gaussian plume model, 
alpha beta gamma diversity r and k species riverine transitional zones in situ ex situ conservation biodiversity hotspot iucn red list categories greenhouse gas atmospheric lifetime global warming potential of the greenhouse gases mangrove types and zones and very important soil horizons iso number lca eia audit types and environmental management system bowen's reaction series elements in the sea water their concentration inversion layer concept the numerical coming from there and here are some else which i will be uploading in the telegram group also next is statistics part chi square t anova vermicomposting types of earthworms solid waste management biomedical waste and their color of the bins rainwater harvesting technique earthquakes PSLR waves remote sensing and GIS basics you should know volcano structure what are intrusive extrusive igneous rocks their rock types noise level numerical noise level standards these are different thing next is sustainable development goals millennium development goals smog CRZ that is coastal regulation zone areas numerical on the remote sensing on the scale where focal length and height is given then solar cell efficiency windmill area numerical cold types and their composition hardness of mineral toxicity of arsenic and chromium disease by lead arsenic mercury and cadmium ecology unit and the ivi index biogas composition acts convention movements and their years the pdf i have already uploaded in the telegram group success and stages that is ecological success and interaction among species commensalism amensalism predation mass balance numerical lap state numerical layers of earth and their composition discontinuity layers half life time of elements the numerical periodic table elements humic humic acid fulvic acid questions are asked several times micro and macro nutrients c3 c4 cam photosynthesis zonation of solar pond aquatic system and their zonation eutrophic oligotrophic dystrophic lake organic matter calculation that is total organic matter carbon multiplied by 1.72 numerical pollution control equipments techniques that is atomic absorption spectroscopy gcms flame photometry next nuclear fusion and fusion so these are the 50 plus very frequently asked concepts in the paper 2 of the environmental science so once again i am telling these are the checklist only to know what are the frequently asked topics and how many you have completed so if you haven't done something also no need to panic you can leave them and just you should know that maximum you should complete from these topics Now coming to the numericals. Yes, most of you will be very much worried about the numericals because the formulas are not that much easy for the every numerical. But I would suggest you that leave the difficult formulas and stick to your level. Yes, those formulas which are able to remember and which are easy, just remember those things and practice them. But don't go for the new formulas and the difficult ones so that it will create a headache in your mind. and it has been seen that numericals doesn't carry much proportion of the total 100 questions in the paper 2 so some of the numericals which you don't know in the exam you can simply bluff the answer and you should not get panic and above all you should believe that whatever you have studied is sufficient enough and don't go for the new topics as i have repeatedly said in the starting of this video and mock test are very very important yes before going for the exam one must attend the mock test to boost his or her confidence and i am coming with the mock test very soon before the examination so stay tuned for that and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe hit the notification icon to get all further updates so see you guys in the next video till then keep preparing and believe in yourself